2019 was a great year for me. Academically, won the last stretch to graduation. Physically, I got in the best shape of my life, sustained no injuries and the diet overall was fantastic. However, I promised myself that in 2020, I would get out of my comfort zone with these videos and especially with my diet and training to take things to the next level. That being said, after my holiday in Brazil with my friends completely detrained and not one macro tracked, living a normal life absent of diet and training for 10 days, I was ready yeah. to do a body recomposition, also known as building muscle and losing fat simultaneously, but with a twist. If you enjoy my content, it's highly likely you know who Jeff Nippard is. I've been following him closely and his videos have been circled around the topics of body recomposition and a full body training split. Something I've never done before. Personally, I feel like this suits what I was looking for in 2020. Yeah. I decided to train and die like Jeff Nippard for 7 days and document every single step of the way. This is a completely new territory for me never been done before if you enjoy this pause for a second rotate your phone or scroll down hit the like button if you're new subscribe and hit the bell button to get a notification when i upload let's kick it off how to build muscle and lose yeah. fat at the same time over the next seven days i'll be documenting my entire journey showing you guys physique updates day to day how my training program is going what my diet is looking like using Jeff Nippard's principles and his training programs. But without further ado, let's go to jeffnippard.com. $79.98. Yeah. Payment through card, which is what we'll be doing today. Okay, purchasing the program. Ah, $79. Uh, uh. <laughs> Jokes aside, I feel that if you're ever purchasing a program, training or nutrition, I feel like you're investing into yourself. Yeah. The value and the information you're getting is essentially invaluable because it can change your life. It could be through an improvement in your physique, in your performance, in your overall health. So if you ever do decide to support any fitness YouTuber, and you're ready to do it, commit to it, investing in yourself is never a bad investment, but let's get these programs. After reading Jeff Nippard's Ultimate Guide to Body Recomposition cover to cover, it is well understood that building muscle and losing fat simultaneously is possible and likely probable if you fall within these five categories. Number one, a new lifter. Due to being most primed for muscle protein synthesis and calories from fat fueling this process. Number two, an overweight or an obese individual due to their large energy reserve from body fat that will help with the muscle building process. Number three, which I fall in, the detrained athlete. In the most simple terms, it is much easier to build muscle back than it was to build the muscle from scratch due to the muscle memory. And number four, anabolic steroids, which allow to upregulate muscle protein synthesis and pulling energy from fat reserves. He also includes five, which is unique to the book, suboptimal trained athletes, which leads to our next question. Dr. Mike Diamonds, how to build muscle and lose fat yeah. simultaneously? Now, these Explain. Are the mechanisms of action of building muscle and losing fat. In terms of building muscle, foods ingested and broken down into amino acids and proteins. The amino acids and proteins are in the blood and they're concentrated. Through resistance training, the amino acid is delivered to the skeletal muscle. You then have muscle protein synthesis and that results in skeletal muscle remodeling. So after training and damaging the muscle, the amino acids and proteins are then directed to your muscles to be able to repair them and thus also building your muscle. Now this can also simultaneously happen with losing fat. Now fat is generally stored in your adipose cells, but for your fat to be utilized, you need to be able to have it requested as energy from the body. So the triglycerides in the fat cells are activated by certain hormones and hormone sensitive lipase breaks down the triglycerides, sends them into the bloodstream and these triglycerides and glycerols are used in the bloodstream as a source of energy. So both of these actions can happen at the same time. 
Training. The book describes it to be the driving force of body recomposition, meaning it is easy to lose fat by diet alone, but nearly impossible to build muscle without weight training. Weight training is paramount to building muscle and improving body composition. This time I used Jeff Nippard's full body high frequency program. The footage overlaid is from day one. The concept of training full body was concerning due to the frequency and not recovering fast enough. However, it was easily explained that this is the greatest benefit of high frequency full body training and that was simply spreading out your weekly volume to help increase the quality of each set. In short, I trained full body for 5 days, I focused on progressive overload and I absolutely loved the program. The overall volume and intensity was there to drive muscle protein synthesis and thus build muscle and just enough to allow my body to recover which is equally as important. The only major downside was the time I spent in the gym. I would find myself in the gym between 60 and 90 minutes each session. Let me know in the comments if you would like a more in-depth review of this style of training. The Diet As explained previously, fat tissue and muscle tissue are independent systems. Therefore, it is possible to lose fat due to a caloric deficit while still building muscle granted that you provide adequate protein and a progressive training stimulus. According to the book, The Ultimate Guide to Body Recomposition, it recommended a caloric deficit of 20% below theoretical maintenance. After inputting my details in a BMR calculator and the results of 3200 calories, I would need to be at a 2600 caloric deficit. The next major emphasis with body recomposition was protein intake. The book stresses that a higher than usual protein intake has no clear pitfalls but research has shown that a higher protein diet being superior to a lower protein diet, especially in increasing fat-free mass in conjunction with resistance training. Eating a range of 1.2 to 1.6 grams of protein per pound of lean body mass. Personally, at a higher body fat, I chose 1.2 grams per pound of lean body mass which equaled to 190 grams of protein. 20% of my total calories were allotted to dietary fat which equal to 58 grams of fat and the remaining calories to carbohydrates which finished it off at 330 grams of carbs. That being said, that could be a totally independent video. But to keep it short, from your total calories, 80% should be from whole foods and 20% should be from snacks of your choice. In my first week running full body training and my recomposition macros, I lost a total of 7.4 pounds attributed to depletion in water weight, glycogen and fat. In my experience, this has been the most I've lost in a week. And due to the muscle memory effect, after my holiday, I was able to build muscle very quickly, making my recomposition common. In my previous videos, I've discussed in depth the different forms of cardio. I alternated between high intensity interval training and low intensity steady state cardio. This isn't the first time I've utilized these methods. I took a similar break in December 2017 to be in great shape for a photo shoot I had in February. And in 2018, this was the general consensus on social media for my transformation in 2019. The book also stresses on supplementation. They stress on having a good protein source, especially from whole foods, and also selecting a protein that has the full amino acid profile for you to be able to stimulate muscle protein synthesis. And one that I use and I highly recommend is Isopept. It's low in fat, almost no carbs, almost no fat, and very high in protein. Um, this one is the strawberry sensation, but my favorite is the chocolate peanut butter from EHP Labs. I also used OxyShred, which is, is a fat burner. And in my experience, when I've used the product, I've lost weight at a better rate. And I've also felt that I've had a lot more energy throughout my day. I've never felt lethargic and it's always been able to give me a boost. This is and can be used as a form of pre-workout. However, RP Max is a supplement I did use if it wasn't too late especially when I was training so I could give full effort through my workouts. It also gave me the focus I needed. So if you guys want to pick up any of the supplements, there's a link in the description and using Diamonds 10 will save you money and that is also my support code. Tell us EHP Labs that it's coming from me. That being said, in terms of the high frequency program from Jeff Nippard, if you're between intermediate and advanced, I do recommend it. I enjoy it thoroughly and I do plan on continuing to use it. 
you can learn a lot from here. If it's if you're a beginner, it can be overwhelming. The, and I'll continue using the program. I do recommend it, especially after using my push pull legs program for the past year to two years. I love it. Now, the ultimate guide to body recomposition. In this book, for a beginner, it can be overwhelming. However, for anyone from intermediate to advanced, this is a Bible. And you can find a lot of information that you do need here. However, it is information that you can find, but if you're looking for a one-stop shop, this is a place to go. It's very well written and the scientific references there are fantastic. So I do recommend them both. Well done, Jeff Nippard. If you guys do want me to do more of these, let me know in the comments. Whose training program or whose diet should I try next? Let me know in the comments. This could be a series, but who knows? That's totally up to you guys. If you did enjoy it, leave it a thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.